Hydrotrim is a water activated corner technology. The key word water activated. The most important step is actually applying the water to the corner. And I'm going to go through the, the do's and the do nots of putting water on this corner. It's vital that you understand this to get a good installation. The do nots, and we highly recommend that you do not do this, is to use a sponge. A sponge in a bucket of water seems common sense, but what happens is when you rub your sponge down the corner with water, you don't know if you're going to get the whole flange wet, number one. And number two is as you're rubbing it and wetting it, you also could be wiping off half of the adhesive that's on the back. So we highly recommend that you do not use a sponge. Another do not do is to use muddy or dirty water. It, the, the contaminants can actually hamper the solution on the back of the corner and actually work against the adhesion. So other things too are sort of common sense. Having the, uh, your surface clean and dry, free of dust. If there's a lot of dust on your surface, it could hamper the adhesion. Um, and one last thing is try not to coat your joints first. This won't stick over dry joint compound as well as it does on, on the gypsum surface paper. To recap, don't use a sponge. Don't use dirty water. Make sure that your surface is dry and clean and free of dust and try not to apply it over dry joint compound. What we do recommend is these little Hudson sprayers that you can get at any hardware store, Home Depot and Lowe's. This thing is great. It puts on just the right amount of water. It, it sprays out the whole surface. And not only that, but it's super fast. You can do tons of corners with this. Now, once you put the water on, it's really important to wait about 10 to 15 seconds because we have a dried solution that's baked onto the back of this. And once the water activates, it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to actually get the solution gooey. As the water activates, you'll start seeing the little spiderweb glues coming up. When you first start using this corner, you know, the first house or the first building that you do, you'll, you'll have to understand you, by feel how much water you're going to use. Just like anything else, when you first start using it, the first 15 sticks or so, you go, hmm, I had too much water on that. Hmm, I didn't have enough water on that. You'll get the feel of it as you use it, just like anything else. So once again, it's water activated adhesives on the back of the corner. So the most important step is, especially in the beginning, is to take your time and put the right amount of water on and get the right feel. It's really important to give yourself a little bit of time to learn the nuances of a lot of water or a little water. And once you got that down, depending on what you're doing, if you're doing like a long soft that you need more time, I'd probably put a lot of water on it. If you're just doing some windows, I'd probably put less water on it. But that's up to you guys to, to learn. It's just to think about. We installed this corner five minutes ago. You can actually go ahead and coat it right now. I'm gonna peel this off just so you can see how, in such a short time, the adhesive has bonded so well to the corner. It's still gonna be gooey and wet back there, but it's, it's good enough to coat. But here I go. So as you can see, this thing completely bonds better than joint compound to the, to the actual gypsum board to the paper in the back. You, you've got fiber, complete fiber tears, incredible bonding power. And once more, to remind people, the holes, when you coat this, mud will go through the holes and lock it down even more. So you have the adhesive on the back that bonds incredibly well, as you see, with joint compound going through the holes to lock it down once again. This is a very, very strong corner.